All along, George Anthony has been a central figure in this story, publicly defending his daughter even when it appeared the outcome would not be favorable. Mike DeForest has more now on that part of our team coverage and joins us now live. Mike. Well, Jackie, over the last six months, at times it seemed like George Anthony would say different things inside the sheriff's office than he would say outside in the public. It really seemed like he was wrestling with some big conflicts in his mind. How are you holding up? We last saw George Anthony the day before Kaylee's body was found during this appearance on Larry King. Who do you think she is, George? Oh, Kaylee? She's with, hopefully, a loving family and is taking good care of her. But from the very beginning, George was troubled by the smell of death in Casey's car. Garbage and this other decomposition smell are totally different. I mean, that's very distinguishable. It hurts. When we first met George the day after Kaylee was reported missing, he was grief-stricken yet hopeful. I want my granddaughter. My wife wants my granddaughter. George channeled his anxiety by distributing flyers outside a grocery store and driving all over Central Florida, pulling this billboard plastered with Kaylee's face. You guys don't give a... You don't care about me. You don't care about her. You don't care about my granddaughter. But as weeks stretched by with no signs of Kaylee, George began to crack, and Cindy was concerned. Okay, please, before I lose my husband right now, okay? A lot of you saw probably the news how I sort of lashed out at the media today and I can tell the media right now I'm sorry. George apologized for his outbursts. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! But any suggestion that Kaylee was dead set him off. Hi, George. George, you poor nice day, is a little George. The protesters that gathered outside his home only added to the stress. At times, George would physically lash out at those who were taunting him, even spraying a hose at the demonstrators. I want you to know, I want to take your pain away from you. So, you know, you can tell me anything. I know that, Dad. I miss you, sweetie. But during his visits with Casey in jail, George displayed tenderness and regret. I wish I could have been a better dad and better grandpa, you know? You've been a great dad and you've been the best grandfather. Don't for a second think otherwise. As you could see there, George's emotions have been up and down like a roller coaster. At times you could almost feel the walls closing in on him with all of this. Other times he had almost this amazing strength. But as we learned this morning, there's no way for any of us to know exactly what's been going on in his mind these last six months. Reporting live at the Orange County Sheriff's Office, Mike DeForest, Local 6.